Hello, I'm down the beach again. Surprise, surprise. Today, we got a fun one. Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt this broadcast for a very special announcement. Boy got himself a sponsor. As you guys know, I've been doing YouTube now full time for a little while, and as such, I need to make money from it. Now, there's multiple ways that you can monetize YouTube. One of them is by bringing sponsors onto the channel, and that is what I'm excited to announce to you guys today. But before I go telling you about who our first sponsor is, I just wanna let you know right from the beginning that I will never ever bring a brand or a company or a product or a service to this channel if it isn't good for me and if it isn't good for you. I will never bring somebody onto this channel that I wouldn't spend my own money on, that I don't believe in, and that I don't trust in. So please, don't worry, I will never sell out. I give you my word. I will always, always make sure that the brands that I bring to the channel are good for us. And if they're not, then see you later, not interested. So I just wanna make sure that that's kind of set in stone right from the get-go because we're at 50,000 subscribers now, which is amazing. I can't thank you guys enough. And you are the OGs. You've been here since the start. And thank you, thank you, thank you. As the channel grows, I am gonna get approached by more companies that want to be involved. And as that happens, I want you to have confidence that if you see them on my channel, then they are worth looking at. And so all I can ask is you support those that support me. Check them out, click the links in the description, all that kind of stuff. It'll help me out a ton and allow me to keep on putting out these videos, which I love doing so much. So that, I just wanted to say that, I wanted to make sure that we're cool, we're on the same page. Uh, and so without further ado, our sponsor for this week's episode is Manscaped. Now, Manscaped heard when I put the video out the other week and I said that I shaved my coronavirus hair with my ball trimmer because uh, I only had that to do it with. I didn't have a proper uh, hair trimmer. Anyway, it did a decent job, but they were like, look, you can't be switching up between that and that. So let us send you the best ball trimmer you will ever use. Uh, and then, you know, keep the other one for your head if you want to, whatever. So it's like, all right, that sounds like fun. So they sent me this, which is the perfect package essentials kit. And in this, you get some newspaper for when you shave so you can stand over the top of it and all your trimmings will go on here and not all over your bathroom floor. Um, obviously, the pièce de résistance, the lawnmower 3.0. Now this has got skin safe, yeah, skin safe technology, and this basically is a ceramic coated blade so it doesn't uh, nick your nuts. So I think their strap line is the perfect tools for your crown jewels. Uh, and I'm very excited to use this. It looks like it's gonna be great. It's waterproof, it's uh, cordless as well. So you can use it in the shower as well if you don't wanna use the mat. Uh, if you subscribe, you get two free gifts as well. So you get this, which is a really nice toiletries bag. And then they also send you these boxes, which are anti-chafing boxes. And they're so soft. I'm really looking forward to wearing those. Uh, they also sent me a t-shirt, which is very nice. So thank you, Manscaped. That's uh, very kind of you. And uh, the last two things in here are the Crop Preserver, which is a ball deodorant. So you get out of the shower, you put this on, and it stops you from chafing, and it keeps your nuts nice and nice. Uh, and then the other thing is this Crop Reviver, which is a ball toner. And this is basically, if you need a little pick-me-up during the day, a little refresher, then you can just psh, psh, spray the boys with this, let them air dry, and uh, yeah, it'll give them a new lease of life. So there you have it, there is our first sponsor. If you're interested in checking out Manscaped's products, then there will be a link in the description below. They're giving me the ability to offer you a 20% discount. So if you go to the link in the description, like I said, and use the code SWORDS, S-W-O-R-D-S, then you'll get 20% off and free shipping. And then if you subscribe as well, then you'll get new blades for your trimmer every three months. So they stay nice and sharp and your bits stay nice and sharp. So there, there you have it. I have given you my first sponsor. I'm very excited. Like I said, please support those that support me. Manscaped, thank you guys so much for getting involved. You're an awesome company. You've been great to deal with so far. And uh, yeah, I look forward to many more of these experiences where I'm able to give you guys an insight into cool new products. So there you go. Without further ado, let's get into the episode because it was an absolute banger. So I told you this was going to be a fun episode and um, here is the reason why. So all the way down there we've got Ryan who you probably don't recognize the back of his head 
but uh, you may recognize him from a producer Michael video. Ryan is uh, one of the boys from Aventi Watches and uh, as well as making cool watches, he's also a pretty cool guy. So we're hanging out, he's back here from Australia and uh, that's Karen, his girlfriend as well. And uh, so yeah, well, I've come down to San Diego where they're from and we're gonna hang out, we're gonna do this little hike and then we're gonna get on a boat and have some time in the water later and I can't wait. So I think we're hiking down here. That's where we're going, all the way down oh, to the bottom. Puppy love. <laughs> Is it a he or a she? You do. It's a boy. It's a girl. Yeah. <laughs> you can't play here, there's not enough space. He's nice, he's all white. Uh, yeah. White and... Yeah, that's all he wants to do is just run around and play. All right, hey, it was nice to meet you. See you later, guys. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah, okay. All right, Diesel, we're gonna have to do some Spider Manning. <laughs> intense, intense. Yeah. Good boy. So yeah, like I was saying, Ryan is from Aventi, and uh, yeah, we've, uh... oh, there you go. <laughs> so if you don't know what Aventi is, um, they're really nicely made tourbillon watches, uh, and they do these cool sapphire cases as well. Super, super high quality watches at a very affordable price point. And so we're doing some work with them on the Producer Michael channel, and uh, yeah, me and him just decided that we'd come hang out. Today is about just having fun in an English guy and I was a guy that it up in California, to be honest. A couple of mates. <laughs> All right, don't go down there. Ready? You good? Come on then. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> yeah, when you said that there's a cool little trail, I wasn't expecting this. That time you came down to my neck. <laughs> Too much time up in Orange County, that leg. Right. San Diego, La Jolla. Oh, wow. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> How's that for a view? Oh, yeah. Got paragliders up here. Careful, mate. Ooh. Oh, look at you guys. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Diesel. Let's go see. Oh wow. Dun, 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 dun. Hell yeah, look at that for a view. Alright mate. What do you guys think? Paragliding? Is that for you? Is that is that a thing you like? I think I think I'm okay with it. I think I'd prefer to go paragliding than parasailing. Wait, which is the one with the fixed wing? Whichever this one is with the canopy, I would rather do that than the fixed wing. God, this is amazing. This is only uh, about an hour and 10 minutes from my house. So now that I'm in Orange County, San Diego is close. And uh, yeah, what do you think? What? Do you like it? Huh? Do you like it? So we're just looking, I don't know if you can see this on the GoPro, but there's a house right here and it's got a garage where it overlooks the ocean. So we can see the two cars parked in the front. Yeah, this is awesome. So is that right there, La Jolla, where all the seals yeah, are? Yeah, that's the main part of La Jolla, that's uh, Scripps Wharf. Is it? This is La Jolla Shores, yeah. which is the main beach. Yeah. And if you actually go there late summer, early fall, you'll see leopard sharks. Oh, nice. So people actually go there and snorkel and stand a paddleboard and there's leopard sharks all around you. And then over here at the point is a natural breeding ground for seals and sea lions. Right. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I really want to go diving with the, the seals. Yeah. Like yeah. free diving with them. The, the leopard sharks, they're epic. Just yeah, grab yeah. some snorkels. Like she went stand up paddleboarding last time and I was just snorkeling alongside. Uh -huh. like, yeah, definitely come back down and do that for sure. Yeah. What do you think? Next episode, do that? Yeah. That looks fun. So I've just been told that this beach down here is apparently a nudie beach. So that's where we're going. <laughs> I don't know if we're getting nude or not. So but... We're going to get a lot of censored footage. Coming <laughs> yeah. <up. laughs> yeah, I might not be able to show you any of the footage, but um, I can definitely see one lady walking down. I presume it's a lady walking down there with not a strip on her. So <laughs> yeah, this will be interesting. <laughs> Yeah, 
I haven't taught him yet, so I don't know what he would do, honestly. Good boy. That's it. Go on then. Go on. Come on. Go on. You got it. Go on. Go on. Good boy. Go on then. Good boy. Go on. Go on. I got you. I won't let you go. Don't worry. Good boy. Go on. Go on. I got you. Good boy. <laughs> Sorry, don't mind us. Don't, don't mind us. I hope there's nobody down there doing like a nudie photo shoot in the waterfall. <laughs> There we go. I don't know what kind of waterfalls you've seen before, mate, but uh. <laughs> we're, we're made this video. <laughs> yeah. Hike to an epic waterfall. Whoa! Here it is, guys. This isn't CGI, this is real. It's really, look, it's kind of trickling there. You can just about see it. Well, there we go. We made it to the beach almost. Just got the last few little steps to go and then nudie people that is not a trail There's you lied i'll take you some good spots <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we made it and diesel's fine and this lens is very dirty now we're under the hand gliders we're above us now god this is a huge beach wow all right where's the nudie people then uh to the right i think to the right Okay. All right, thank you guys. Sorry, I didn't realize. Thanks, you too. So this is kind of sad. There's a uh, little dead seal over here. No, no, stay away. I wonder what happened. I wonder why he ended up up here. He's a big one as well. Oh, that's sad. There are lots of seals up here. Um, so unfortunately for that one, he isn't going to make it or hasn't made it. But. There are lots of others. There's a very, very healthy population of seals up here. Uh, and you can swim with them right over there. But we just had the lifeguard come by. Apparently, no doggos on the beach. So we got to walk back. We're going to head this way. And <laughs> we're going up the ramp this time because that canyon was, <laughs> was pretty hectic. So. Yeah, I've got a question for you. Do you ever That's feel like you get away fun. with a lot of uh, carnage in America because you're English? Play the foreign car? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> No comment. Sorry, mate. No comment, officer. Well, that was definitely a lot more adventurous than I had anticipated, but it was a lot of fun and those views were absolutely beautiful. So now we're just going to go and kill a couple of hours, probably go get some food and something to drink because uh, I am parched after that. And then we will get on the boat at two o'clock and I'm very much looking forward to it. Is that comfy? Oh, look at that dribble. Nice. This is why I need to get the Mercedes on the road because he is a dribble monster when he's in the car. So yeah, get him, uh, get him his own car to dribble on. Oh, he's so slobbery. Look, look at this. But anyway, we're gonna go get some food. If there's nothing to show you, then we will smash cut to the boat. But if something fun happens along the way, obviously I'll take you guys with us. marina this is where we get the boat from now ryan actually has this cool membership where he pays like 500 bucks a month and then that gets him access to all kinds of different boats pontoon boats wakeboarding boats fishing boats we're going on a double decker pontoon boat so i'm really excited about that diesel doggo has never been on a boat that big he's only been on a duffy so uh yeah we're just gonna park up get on the boat and i will catch up with you guys when we are officially seamen wait Oh, and that bag that you can see Ryan's holding right there, don't get excited, that is a sample. I have not released those bags yet. They are coming, but that one is just purely for size and style. That's it, nothing else about that bag is gonna be how mine look, other than... With the three, See, so, yeah, there you go. That's the builder's bag. 
But yeah, that kind of gives you an idea of how big I'm gonna go with the bag, but it's just gonna be a lot different in terms of the quality, the color, everything else. Still pretty sick though. Well, this isn't a terrible way to spend an afternoon, is it? I just seem to be having these good weekends. And actually, one of the things that I'm thinking is that when I get a jet ski, wait, did I just say that out loud for the first time on the channel? Uh, I mean, when I may, may, maybe, well, um, I'm getting a jet ski. Uh, I've said it, yeah, I'm getting a jet ski. Um, anyway, when I get the jet ski, I do want to come and do like coastal safaris. I'm not just going to ride it around the, the harbour. I want to do like proper trips on it. And so coming down here, for example, is one of the things I would like to do. So doing uh, Newport Beach to San Diego, uh, it's about 90 miles, I think, maybe maybe a little bit less. Um, so I think I could do that in one hit uh, with uh, without refueling. So yeah, I got some plans. I got some plans, but this is just kind of a, a little taster of what the channel is going to look like moving forward. I'm so excited. We hit 50,000 as well. I cannot thank you guys enough for subscribing. 50,000 followers, like 50,000 subscribers, should I say. That is absolutely insane. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's, it's so badass, so badass. And believe me, guys, this is just the beginning. Just, it's going to get wild and you are going to want to be around. So make sure if you're not subscribed, you do subscribe. And uh, yeah, tell your friends, get them all on board because we are going to have a phenomenal summer. I promise you that. Hey, man. <laughs> like I was saying, Diesel is like a real timid dog. And so basically the way that I'm training him is just by putting him, hey, how you doing? Uh, is just by putting him around all of the experiences that I want him to get comfortable with. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just sink or swim, like throw him in at the deep end. And as you can see, he's swimming nicely. Talking of which, holy moly this thing is way nicer than i expected oh my god look at this thing yeah that that is way nicer than i expected oh we you better believe we're jumping in from the top for sure <gasps> we're gonna boot hmm? we're gonna boot good boy good boy well this is nice huh yes no if you sit in this one it's like a lazy boy oh they're all comfy yes they're super mm, what do you think captain diesel el capitano this is nice huh you got your bed down there got a bit of shade we'll see if we can get him in the water i think he'd probably yeah. go for a swim yeah. if i jump in i think we can probably drag him in there uh you're gonna be sitting and he's gonna be on your lap and you're gonna try out that slide <laughs> <laughs> you think? Do you, do you think that's a human, like an adult size slide? I think we could break it up. <laughs> I'm worried about the break part. Yes. <laughs> we see, see the fishies? Where's the fishies? Where's the fishies? We got some cigarette butts. Oh, actually there's some minnows. Oh yeah? See some little oh, bait fish? Small minis. I apologize if this is windy. It is windy, so deal with it. There's nothing I can do. But we're gonna steam that way. We're gonna pick up a tube so that we can drag something behind. Yeah, that's it. Just another good times for all. <laughs> it's so, so sketchy. So this is a pontoon boat, which is basically meant for cruising around like Yeah. Not for going on the open ocean, so uh, she's, she's a little bit unstable, but it's fine, aren't we all, right? All right, this is it. We're going to get a geography lesson. What have you got for us? So, there's San Diego out there, downtown San Diego. Okay. Coronado to the left. This is the famous Coronado Bridge. So apparently this was just a military island back in the day. Don't quote me what year, but they built this bridge and now it's one of the hottest spots to live. And where California. do you live? We're over in Coronado. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I, see, I see, I see. But now we just got the Yeah, I just caught that one. You just, dropped, you just dropped that. <laughs> just thought we'd take this double decker boat out today there's not too many in san diego bay and i've got this boat club it's called carefree boat club and we only pay like 500 dollars a month and you get unlimited access to all these brand new boats you can take them out whenever you want and all you do is pay for the fuel they clean them they give you all the toys so you can't do that back home in australia i don't know if you can do that in england but only in america to, i have to interrupt this message right when we get underneath we need to scream because it's going to echo you think? Yes. I don't know. It will. So if That's we, it. If we like do like a howl, yeah. it's going to echo. Uh, oh, the dog will probably... I was going to say, it'll shift. It'll terrify. One, two, three. Oh! oh it did it echo! Yay! It did echo! <laughs> How are you doing? How are you doing?
to witness, guys, is my first beer in six months. Oh, don't tell me I'm a bad influence. I'm excited. Yeah, who'd have thought it, eh? An Aussie boy is the one that's a bad influence. I'm excited, I'm nervous. I don't know what it's gonna taste like. Probably amazing. Michael told me you'd drink me under the table. Michael, you told me Adam would drink me under the table. I, do you know what? Six months ago, 100%. <laughs> right now, I'm gonna go, probably uh, not. I'm ready. This is, this is the one. <laughs> First beer in six months, ready? Cheers, buddy. Oh, I missed it so much. Oh, and I'm drunk. <laughs> Did you see her go up then? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> she up but went about six foot up the seat. <laughs> I mean, there's a dent in that seat there. So if you guys remember when I went jet skiing uh, last week, I sat on my GoPro as I was going across some of the, uh, the big whoops. And uh, this is what I've been left with. So I got a pretty hefty bruise right here. It's got some like indentations in it. So yeah, note to self, always secure the GoPro away from your inner thigh slash ball bag area. Because that was not pleasant. What? What is the chocolate as well? I only saw the ice cream. Absolutely. Wow. Child. Jump in the water right now. Oh my god. <laughs> Can't take you anyway. So this is the large aircraft carrier in San Diego. So you can see all the fleet on the top. And you can go in, it's a museum. So they have headsets and they'll tell you all about all their different aircraft in any language that you speak. Pretty awesome. There you go. Look at that, I'm learning things as well as having a good time. Alright, what are we saying? Would you jump off this? I think I would, I would jump, but I wouldn't dive. That is so cool. I've always thought boats and jet skis were cool, but when you're on a boat, there's just something comes over you and all you can think about is getting a boat. So I'm gonna go jet ski first, but then cigarette boat maybe? <laughs> no! Sorry! Salty! <laughs> okay, make sure it's not attached to your leg. That's important. There it is. I, I don't know very many knots. <laughs> I need a wee, so I do need to go in the water. <laughs> so bad. Yeah, chuck a, a piss, as we say. Uh, <laughs> Alright, buddy, we'll be back. We gotta jump in the water, don't worry, we're safe. And you don't need to worry, okay? <laughs> are you gonna go for a pencil dive or are you gonna go for I'm a bomb? Slide. Wow, you're not even wet yet. No, it's fine. Okay. You're gonna go. <laughs> My butt's wet from all that ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> You're still slippery. Yes. After you. Any famous right. last words? All right. Let me. Where are you going? Go to me. All right. Azzy, azzy, azzy. Oi, oi, oi. Yeah! Is it good? That's fresh, mate. You having a wee? <laughs> You, I promise you, you're just gonna go and <laughs> fall in forwards. <laughs> A thousand percent, that's what's about to happen. <laughs> See, I told you. Splash some water up here. <laughs> Are you peeing right now? <laughs> you just gonna jump off the slide. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
I gotta try not to drop this because I don't have a floaty on it. I haven't got a beer. All right, ready? Yippee! That's nice. Oh yeah. All right, my turn to win. He's a dog. Hello. <laughs> He's gonna try. Hello. Oh, you can. <laughs> He's already. Ready? Come on. Yeah. Woohoo! He's in! Yeah! Good boy! Good boy! Good boy! I have literally no idea how I'm gonna get this dog back into the boat. Well, I'm gonna use the guys obviously, but he just <laughs> followed me in. He just did a trust fall then. He didn't even know if I was gonna catch it. Mm, you're a good boy. Yeah. Come here then. Come here. Come here. Good boy. Ready? Come here. Ready? Good boy. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Yahoo! Go on. Yahoo! Good boy. I got ya. I got ya. I got ya. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. This is awesome. So this is Diesel's first proper swim. He's not using me. He's in deep water. And he's doing great. Yeah, he's doing great. All right. I gotta jump up and then I'm gonna pull you up, all right? Come here. Come here. Come here. Ready? One, two, three, whoo. <laughs> it ain't very graceful, but get some up. Bing, on the beach. All right, yeet. On here, on here. Come on, Diesel. Come on. 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 Yahoo! <laughs> yeah, good boy. Good boy, I got ya. I got ya. Alright, you ready? Good boy. Diesel! Fuck, <laughs> oh, he's going the other way. Diesel, come here. Come on. Good boy. Come on then, let's go. Good boy. Do you want your beer? <laughs> Can you see that I'm busy right now? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's my life right now. <laughs> Towing a, towing a beer, a beer he loves it. He loves it. He's getting a rig one. All right, buddy. Go turn around. Come on. Okay. Good boy. I got you. Whoa. So it turns out teaching him to swim was a good idea. That was a bigger swim than we thought. How was that? Is that good? Yeah, he's a good boy. Like a bud light commercial. Oh, I was actually trying to grab your hand, but thank you. Okay. <laughs> now I have two hands. Oh yeah, look, look, look how fast you're going. What is he doing? <laughs> Diesel, what are you doing? Come on. Oh. Come on. <laughs> He's like, friends. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, so cute. So many German shepherds. Right? <laughs> Who found? Hey, who found? Hey, buddy. Hi, how you doing? Come on. Oh, watch out, careful. <laughs> Love at first lick. Yeah. Watch out. He's there, he like puts his butt on him. Oh. <laughs> <That's cute. laughs> right? <laughs> That's his little party trick. I'm not sure what's about to happen. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. You can even party while we're social distancing. Hey, you're not social distancing now, are you? Hey? You're Sandy boy. <laughs> That's so cute. Is that so cute? Okay, and who put this on the playlist? Who's this? 
Find it. I think it's here. All right, that was the beach. It was fun. Now we've got to go back to HMS fun zone. <laughs> All right, so you got a flat out on it and you're gone. Ready? That's not bad. That's not bad. All right, buddy, we're gonna go to the boat. Come on then. No, don't jump on my back. Have you guys ever swam and weed at the same time? Sorry, Diesel, that's why it's warm back there. It's really nice. Can I just take this moment to fully appreciate my dog? This is a rescue dog that at some point has been shot with a BB gun or a pellet gun or something. He was found in the desert. He's never seen... He's not... I'm trying to big you up. Just be cool. Be... Ow, be cool. You just chopped my nipple off pretty poor. Ah, he just chopped my nipple off. What I was saying... Well, okay. All right, we'll do this on the boat. Here we go. Oh yeah, you're on the ladder. Good boy, can you do it? Dude, if you can do this, Come on. Okay, we'll do it the. Come here. We'll do it the unsexy way. This way. Diesel, come here. Come here. Good boy. Ready? Ready? One, two, three. Good boy. This wasn't from a stripper, by the way. This was this was Diesel as we were swimming. So. All right. If I don't come back, we had a good time. All right. All right. They'll look after you. I promise. Where'd he go? I'm going. I was, I, was stop, I was gonna stop after that one and then get it off. Dude, my nuts. Oh my god. <laughs> I, was, I got to the point where I was hanging off by my fingertips. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> like How good do you find this amusing? Oh, like my nuts were dragging in the water, my feet. I was hanging on by my fingertips and I was like, <laughs> Stop! Whew. Okay, you might notice this quality just got a lot better. All my GoPro batteries are out, so I'm switching over to the big camera, which I didn't want to use because water and all the rest of it. Anyway, just got off the tube. Oh, I think my nuts are somewhere about just below my belly button right now because I started off good and then he kept on cranking. I whistled him like four times to say I'm, I'm good and he didn't hear me. So uh, my nuts were, if you imagine that I'm lay here, my nuts were about here. And if you imagine the wake, it kind of comes underneath and then like this. So, whew, yeah, a little, little bit, you know, a little bit jiggled. But um, if you guys have watched the whole episode, you'll know that our sponsor today is Manscaped. And uh, so at least, even though they've been rattled, they are in perfectly pristine condition. So, yeah, there's a weird segue back into the advertising for today's episode. All right, then, guys, well, we're smash cut into this, which is nighttime because we are about to go out and get some dinner. We watched the sunset, we went back, I changed, dried off a little bit. He is exhausted. We have had such an amazing day. He's done such a great job, I'm so proud of him. He's done so many new things today. He's gone hiking, he's jumped in the water with me, he's been on the boat. He is absolutely knackered. So we're gonna go get some food and then go uh, drive back home because it is getting late. And mate, I wanna thank you for everything because that was a great day, like really fun. No really worries, fun. mate. Cheers. So, thank you very much. Cheers. And uh, we need to spin the camera around right here to this video. <laughs> So guys, thank you so much for watching. Like I said, we hit 50,000 subscribers on the channel and that is absolutely insane. What I've been doing in the last couple of weeks is a real teaser into what's gonna be coming up this summer. I've moved to a new place. I have so many exciting opportunities coming my way. Uh, this is the first video that I've done a proper sponsorship with, with Manscaped. 
I really would love you to support those that support me because they help me to make these videos. So thank you so much for all of your support. Keep on sharing, keep on giving these videos a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please do because I would love to see you here again. So with Diesel Dog, would you mate, tell him, say, I would like to see you again. So, hello, I would like to see you guys again. So yeah, thank you guys so much. And uh, until next time, remember, don't know anything I would do. See ya.